doing today? Is y'all ready? Look, it is Good Friday, okay? None of that effery stuff going on. This is a special Friday. It's the two Fridays before Easter, right? It, this is Easter this weekend? Or next weekend, but we early, okay? We early, okay? Because we need God to stay with us, okay? Listen, moderators, remember no blocking. I feel like this dress that I got on tonight represents a special occasion, okay? Since we are uh, we are uh, turning to our Bibles, okay? Um, to John 13, uh, paragraph 9, gospel, the gospel of uh, side holes and thieves, okay, is going to be the mission for today. Let me see what they're talking about in the comments, all right, while we we go to get started. We got a lot we're discussing, all right? We are streaming everywhere. Where are my comments? Uh, uh, uh. Where are my comments? Are y'all ready? Y'all like my little, y'all like my Easter finest? I hope so. I really hope so. Now, um... This was my auntie Bible, okay? This is the Bible that she used. She didn't never go to church. She just used it to play her numbers, okay? So when you open up the pages up in here, all you're going to see is cash three, cash four, and the Powerball, all written all over the pages and everything like that. Y'all think I'm lying? I'm going to open it for you later, okay? Um, it's dusty because it's been in plastic. I had to take this Bible out. It's the only Bible I own, okay, because it brought her good luck, all right? She was able to pay her bills every month hitting the lotto, okay? Hitting the lotto! I feel like this dress, right, uh, this is a dress I would be wearing if I, if I married in, from Panama City, my hometown, okay? That's how I feel. This, this is the type of dress, okay, that I would be wearing a, so on Sundays to church, okay, down there at Mount Zion in Panama City at the Baptist Church, down there praying for my husband to stop, stop walking around on me. Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus. All right, so we got a full show for y'all today. Of course, we're going to be discussing uh, this open marriage here, okay? We're just going to discuss how open it is, okay? And are there any um, any doors uh, that, are, that are possibly still closed, okay? Also going to be talking about Offset in this here deal that he's gotten himself into with the devil, okay? Quality Control Management, Stevie J's new girlfriend, Wendy is outside, okay? Megan Thee Stallion, Lotto, uh, and we got some updates on the food supply as well as the drug supply, okay? And so, listen, before we get into this here content, oh, and we got an exclusive, okay, from the thir a third mistress, okay? I got two more, I think two to three more that I got to interview over the weekend, and then I got to go get baptized because this is a lot, okay? I feel like I'm going to be turning into somebody's side chick here in a second, okay? And I'm married. That's that's how intense it is, okay? Now, listen, uh, after this show, you guys do know we're going to be heading over to TashaKLive.com, okay, for our exclusive interview. But I'm going to have y'all vote, okay? Do y'all want to hear the third mistress, or do you want to hear from... Um, the baby's baby mama Mimi, because she came with all the shits, okay? We got an exclusive interview from her. But we're going to let y'all vote in the comments, okay, throughout the entire show tonight, okay? And so without further ado, we got to take a moment. Stay right here. Like this video, okay? Share, subscribe, tell your friends. Tell your cheering, okay? Because everybody got to hear what's going on tonight, all right? Uh, we got some sponsors that we need to brag about, which means boldly raise a glass, too. Let's get it. We'll be right back. A friend of mine was recently in a very nasty car accident. Luckily, he came out okay, but his car was pretty beat up. I asked him if he thought about getting a lawyer to help him with his car insurance, and he looked at me like I was crazy. All that hassle, searching for a lawyer, spending hours in meetings, looking at all types of paperwork. I mean, hiring a lawyer is extremely painful, right? Wrong. With Morgan & Morgan, submitting an injury claim is so easy. Morgan & Morgan has managed to modernize the injury law process so that you can submit a claim and have it reviewed by a lawyer without ever leaving your couch. You can sign documents, upload pictures, share medical records and upload bills all from the comfort of your phone. You can even text message your attorney and case manager without having to go to an office. When you're injured in an accident, hiring an attorney should be one of the first things you do. And with Morgan & Morgan, submitting a claim is so easy. 
More than 3 million people have trusted Morgan & Morgan when they were injured in accidents. And so if you're ever in an accident, check out Morgan & Morgan. You can submit a claim with eight clicks or less, and you can have America's largest personal injury firm fighting for you. You can get started right now at ForThePeople.com or dial pound law, and that's pound 529 from your cell phone. Hey, it's Tasha K. How you doing? Hey, Tasha, I'm good. How you doing? I am good. Um, so what the <laughs> hell is going on? That's all of these. I was like, you know what? I ain't even surprised at all. But so over. How did y'all meet? You know, he started talking about money, and he was just like, you know, I'll help you with this, I'll help you with this, and you got to pay this off, I'll help you pay this off, but I need you to stay in a specific area. So I'm like, you want me to move to Georgia, but I can't pick, you know, where, where I can stay at. So the screenshot why I sent you where he wanted me to stay in those areas. Then the conversation she go into talking about R. Kelly and Michael Jackson and this and that. Then he goes, so after he talk, got done talking about that, I was like, he ended up telling me who he was. So I was like, y'all not in open marriage, you know? Cause I'm like, I, I might just be witty if that was the case. Like, nah. And I was like, so why are you not faithful to your wife? And I just remember him saying, man, you know, um, marriage ain't nothing but a piece of paper. He was like, you know, we've been together for so long, you know, after a while, you know, dead died down. Tell me about how she really got mad because him and Candy started dating first, and um, you know, I wait, guess wait, that wait, little... wait, wait, what? <laughs> I don't even know how that even came up. But he I'm not said he was fucking. Like... He said he used to date Candy. Yes, he said he used to date Candy. That's why. And we're back. All right. Remember, we just gonna sip a little wine. Jesus made wine. It is. Good, good Friday, okay, since it's two Fridays away, okay, and we're drinking some organic rosé today, okay? I wanted the wine to match my dress, okay? Okay, compliments of TJ Maxx. Now, uh, let's go on and get into it. All right, so Narcan, all right, to my substance abuse users here, you guys are in luck, all right? Narcan is now being made available to any and everybody like Plan B pills, okay? You can take as many as you want. You can risk your life all the way up until the last breath, okay? And if you got that Narcan and somebody's beside you that you trust, okay, you can go on and hit them with that, all right? Listen, I'm telling you, when they did this, I said they're going to be bringing mummies back to life, okay? I've seen what this stuff do. I've watched cops, Okay. I, I know the power of it. I done seen these police officers search people or just touch people and they get a little fentanyl on them, okay? And next thing you know, they die. They hit that Narcan, they, like, nothing happened. I said, now, I, I tell you, the dope dealers are going to be excited now. They ain't got to call 911 and get the police in their business, all right? All they got to do is go and buy CVS and Walgreens and Rite Aid, Rite Aid out, all right? So that is um our FDA update and we got another one here too from the fda okay mm -hmm, mm. so we got a new flavor okay some new high blood pressure and plastic added to uh our uh you know the aisles the aisles that you shouldn't be uh really shopping out of okay unless it's a special occasion all right a uh, cup of noodles has a new flavor now i'm trying to figure out how they got this in the cup maple syrup pancakes sausage and eggs with with noodles. I guess maybe somebody on TikTok made this and and wrote and cup of noodles Raymond China thought it was a great idea and decided to put all those ingredients in a cup with wheat or plastic. We we haven't confirmed what those noodles are made out of. We just know they get loose, they hard. Then they get loose when they hot real fast in under three minutes, okay? Not only that, okay? Not only is the noodles or plastic, we, we can't confirm or deny if it's uh, noodles or, you know, wheat or plastic. Um, they're adding uh, about 2,000 milligrams of sodium, I, uh, more pancakes, um, maple syrup, but we all know that's high fructose corn syrup. 
Now, Aunt Jemima, you thought you was eating syrup? It was just corn syrup darkened to look like us, okay? Um, it wasn't real pancake syrup. A lot of a lot of us didn't even know there was actual maple, maple syrup from a tree until, you know, we started to read. You know, they didn't tell us that. We didn't even bother to look at the back. They never said it. was. They just said it was syrup. They just didn't say which kind, okay? And then they, they got sausage. Uh, we can't confirm or deny if it's pork, chicken, rat. Uh, you know, there's a thing called rat sausage, okay? Mm-hmm. I've seen the rats being grown, okay, in certain parts of the country in holes, Okay, and it's a rat. You would never know. They say everything pretty much tastes like chicken and beef when they season it, okay? And then uh, eggs. Now, I don't know how they were able to afford eggs in this cup, being that eggs is extremely expensive. And if the Dollar Tree can't afford to sell China eggs no more, how was China able to uh, afford eggs and we can't get none? So I'm trying to figure out which uh, are these lab-grown eggs, uh, from the lab-grown chickens, okay? Or are they, wh where are they getting their eggs that we don't know about? Because I want to know how they're able to put all of this in a cup and sell it for a dollar. I mean, that's a lot going on. Even McDonald's sausage egg and cheese and pancakes and shit is around $7 now. So the fact that they're able to put all this in a dollar, uh, in a cup in a dollar, in a styrofoam cup that is not BPA-free, and a styrofoam melts, okay, into your food a little bit, which means you take in a little bit of that styrofoam every time you eat. Because, you know, every time we, we down there at the fish market trying to get some fried fish, you know what I'm saying? Or a shrimp plate and shit, and they put it on that styrofoam without putting the wax paper. That shit melt right through. That's exactly what we've been eating, melted styrofoam our whole lives, okay? So that's just another update in our, our food supply, okay? Eat responsibly. Lotto! All right. So a lot of people dragged me for uh, giving my thoughts on why. I'm going to ask this question again. Let me Let me start over. Hold on for a second. Hold on, hold on, because everybody, everybody on social media got something to say. But let me start over. Let me let me start again. All right, here we go. Oh, I don't need the glass this time. Why, by the time I get around in this in this chair, tell me why does Lotto need a radio show? Okay, on the count of three. One, two, three, go. Why? I'm busy as hell. And the answer is... You still hadn't figured it out. Neither has she, okay? So much so that she had to take to Twitter to ask y'all for constructive criticism because she got dragged so bad on her first radio show, okay? You know why? Because they ain't training no more. They just throwing them up there because they got a few followers to keep Apple iTunes going to keep them subscriptions going when the subscriptions go down, okay? And so they think that they'll throw somebody up here who is not an open book, who hasn't lived long enough, who's been in Hollywood since she was 10 years old, okay? Who we still haven't confirmed who she's screwing, but she want to sit her little tail up on a podcast and try to expose somebody else for being on a vacation with somebody that they don't want to claim, okay? Ain't nobody been out here trying to claim Quavo. Who? Who? And you gonna try to put that man on Chloe? She was just trying to get a chain. That's it. A, a chain to go pawn. That's it. You know, that's all they good for these days. They going to buy fake chains. La lab diamonds. Yep, mm-hmm. Lab grown diamonds. Right, yeah. Uh-huh. Didn't know about that, did you? So, the next time y'all want to come for me and I see this, this inexperienced, confused, don't know who she is because she's been groomed by Hollywood and every Hollywood producer out here, okay? And ain't no telling which one's in Hollywood screwing her down, all right? She's just trying to get in where she fits in because there's competition coming behind her and she still, since 10 years old, hasn't figured out who she is because she's an industry plant. Now they want to plant it in your ears and y'all listen to her advice and no wisdom because she ain't lived long enough, okay? She ain't even comfortable enough with coming on camera to say which married man is buying her Lambos to be quiet. Oh, I got on my oh, I got on my Sunday's best today. It's good, good Friday. Two Fridays before before Easter. And now this little girl on social media asking somebody, what, what, what does she need to work on? You know what they said? Let your guests finish. Research. Speak up. Know your topics. 
You got up there and mumbled. So I heard, I heard you was on vacation. Blah, 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 cable. What, what you scared of? You supposed, look, you, you want to do this? You want to sit in this chair? You want to sit in my chair? Let me tell you how you do it. You want to sit in this chair? You get Chloe Bailey on the show. Matter of fact, it could be you, me interviewing you. Let, how about this, okay? How you doing, Lotto? You good? Mm, I saw that you hit the Lotto. A mar- uh, uh, oh, I'm sorry, not a married man, but a man bought you a car. We're trying to confirm if he's married or not because those are the only ones that don't want you saying their name on social media. Is he married or is he not? Is he married to you? Uh, he's not married to you. So why won't you say his name? I'm not finna get up here and... Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Girl, we, we don't even know who you scrolling. A talk show host is supposed to be an open book. You see how they did Wendy for being closed? You can't do that. This is what I'm talking about. They, they trying to be in lanes that they're not prepped for. There's no more artist development. There's no development of radio personalities. Contrary to what y'all see, I know y'all see me now, but I was training before I got this here, okay? I was at radio station. I was, I was, I was even buying my own airtime at one time. I was out here marketing. I was out here Buffalo Wild Wings on the microphone. I was out here hosting concerts and stuff, giving out free tickets and stuff on behalf of the radio station, okay? I worked with top radio personalities and everything just to sit here. So for those of y'all that want to say, oh, oh, she, you just turned on your, no, no, ma'am. No, sir. Okay. I worked for this. Now, if I try to become a rapper, then guess what? It's all bullets. Hey, hey, shoot. I ain't got no business in that genre. Shoot. Although I did, I didn't do too bad writing my first song. You know, I, I wrote an R. Kelly diss track. I should drop that. Fantasia K. Live.com. Ooh, hit, hit the wine glass if you heard my R. Kelly diss track. Ooh, I'm even shot a music video to it, too. Ooh, 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 ooh. I came hard. Let me tell you something. When you enter a drama, you got to enter it hard. You got to do your research, okay? So I, here's what I'm going to say to Lotto. I'm not opposed to her getting into this to get a bag, okay? But you don't sit in a seat that a lot of people take serious that work hard for their work, their whole lives for, just like you worked your whole life to be a rapper. Then you're going to try to come and sit in somebody's seat who actually works for this and then you gonna make a mockery of it without asking questions you mumbling to a guest you scared you can't even share your own personal experience because guess what the man that's funding you told you to shut up he the rocky jew child y'all y'all better y'all better go talk y'all better let children play outside okay let children play outside this is my thumper nickel. Okay, moving on. I love it. I ain't even going to lie. I love it. I said, whoever is working her PR, it's working. Okay? She working out, skin glowing. I don't know what the hell her is, but it looked natural, okay? And listen, I got to tell you, whoever is her PR... I said they've been, they've been, they've been, they've been stalking me, okay? Because this is the perfect comeback. A black woman was was shot, okay, by black people. She was she was slaughtered online by everybody, and so she's she's been hollering, P- protect our black women. And for the first time in her life, she came out looking like the black woman she is. No lashes on. I don't know. If, like I said, I can't tell. Last time I looked, her hair was thin. But, you know, they did a good job infusing these in because I seen her on live with her real hair. Them tracks, it take your shit out. Y'all got to be careful with these wigs and stuff. You know what I'm saying? Y'all got to be careful with these infusions because your whole head will come out. Then by the time you 40, you ain't got none. Okay? You gluing hair down here. Okay? Um... But, yeah, she came out natural, okay, in the gym. Ain't got no man, you know, following no man or anything like that. I said, okay, man, yeah, I got to, I just got to celebrate. Let's see her keep up. I hope she, I just wish she wouldn't talk sometime because when she opens her mouth, it's like, you can't believe a woman that beautiful and that tall would just have such an uneducated uh, sounding voice. I mean, she sounds 12 when she speaks. Hi, guys, it's my hottie. Is it the ah? It's like, girl, that, that's that's not black girl. That's black teen magic. 
okay? That's black young teen mat 13 magic, okay? But you're you're over 25, okay? We're going to need you to speak with a little bass on your voice, okay? You you got a lot of bass down there. We heard you rap. Use it. Let's hope she can um the the looks will follow the bars. Okay? Cuz that last album I said, I don't know if she was working with Beyonce producers and they told her it's the renaissance area. You need to make the song for the gay boys. And they said no. Just like they said no to Beyonce's clothes, they said no to Megan's uh, uh, album. Okay? Moving on. Mm. Before we move on, real quick, remember. Remember, right after this show, 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, we will be live. It looks like the third. Let me see the comments. Let me see who's, who, who's. Who's winning? Is it, the, is it the mistress? Is it the third side chick? Which one is it? Which, which one is it? Y'all y'all better stop hating on me. I look cute. Sure, I look j- like Bay County's finest, okay? Right out of Panama City. All I need is a purse under my arm, okay? We don't carry p- purses over our shoulder. We carry our purses like this, okay? Just like this. Now. And we drank before church. Now. Mm-hmm. We're going to head over to TashaKLive.com at 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time because we got our gospel sermon, okay? It's part two of the gospel sermon, the gospel of side holes and thieves, okay? John uh, chapter 30, verse 9, okay? We'll be covering in our Bibles on TashaKLive.com because it's a lot of wine that Jesus is going to be making at 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, Okay? All right, so y'all just hold that thought, and it's on the website, TashaKLive.com. The app comes later. You go to the website, then you download the app. I don't want y'all emailing me, telling me I downloaded the app. It don't work. No shit, because you ain't subscribed to the website, okay? All right, yes, that's right, Miss JTV Pocketbook. That's what we call it, okay? Don't make me get my cigarette case out either. Now, let's get on with this, this new news, because when... Hey, before I introduce this, cause we just go, we just go, we just go, go right into it, okay? Yeah, hold on. See, y'all, y'all. The next time, the next time, and and somebody try to come for me, let me tell you who don't play by me. Let me tell you how I'm stepping in a room. Tell them, Wendy. <laughs> I'm famous. Tell them one more time. Hold on. One more time. That's right. When you better let them know. Tell them what? I'm famous. (laughs) And then after that, she proceeds to sell all her shit in her apartment because she says she's moving to L.A. I think she trying to get some of them credit cards paid off and them people around her that's taking all her shit paid off as well, okay? Now, I think she should have been in a warmer climate. She should stay their ass down here in the Miami area, okay? And that sun, you know what I'm saying, would have helped to rejuvenate her a little bit. Cause when you, I don't know, the cold, it, I heard it preserves the body. You know what I'm saying? So I don't know. She may be on to something living up north. You know, it's like it, it's like freezing your body and then, you know, waking up a thousand years from now. You're still in the same shape. So that's probably, you know, hey, 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 I'm not a doctor. I'm not a... But what Wendy said, okay? Now, moving on. Stevie J is back on our timelines. It's a rather interesting outfit. What happened to the video? Hold on for a second. Hold on. We got to get the video. Okay. There we go. So Stevie J is back on our timelines with this unidentified woman. And she put her mouth on his. Like the the lips touched his lips. She young too. Let's play it one more time. Look at that. Look. We don't know who she is, who her mama them is. We got to find out who her people is. Look, look, look at him. Ooh, and she didn't ask where his mouth had been. If she had a called me, I could have told her. I could have saved her anything that's transmittable, okay? But she don't, these little girls don't want to listen. They want to follow. He ain't even got a bag. He got a baggie. Not a, see, a bag is a bag like this. 
my wig is messing up. I'm sorry, y'all. I got to keep this cute. I watched the Whitney Houston movie last night, so she this wig had me so inspired for my church Good Friday outfit. Tell, am I giving Whitney a little bit? And I I was just, I went to sleep crying last night to Whitney. I'm just missing so much. I miss her so much. So I cut, I took this wig off when she was in the uh, the casket because I kept it as a souvenir. This is a wig. Mm. But I just wanted to, to forewarn this little girl. Put her back up, Jasmine. I just wanted to forewarn this little girl, okay? See, with a man like this... And the women that have called me, similar to how uh, Rocky is, is, is just shaking up all the mountains around here, um, you, you literally have to run a full panel, full blood panel, okay, to ensure that it's okay to even peck. Because a lot of times they say nothing, nothing's not transmittable when you peck. But you want to go deep, you want to start exchanging uh, saliva and bacteria, you have to... You have to thoroughly examine that. And I would send that off. I wouldn't even ask for a rapid. I would just send that off to the lab. And then I would get it done three times. Like when I had my thyroid nodule, they they did the test on it six times to ensure there was nothing growing inside there that had no business. And this is what you got to do these days with these sleaze balls like this. Yeah. Mm-hmm. God said that. Moving on. So Offset, okay, apparently um, is frustrated. You know, he's had to file a lawsuit against uh, Quality Control Management, who is now owned by Scooter Braun. So now they have even more lawyers, okay, um, to fight him and make sure that when he distributes, he distributes on their time and their say. Now, Offset claims that he bought out of his uh, record deal, and so he should be able to distribute and release music, okay? He says that he's a, he's a solo artist being held back. He is the Beyonce of the group, and this is just unconstitutional, and he deserves his civil right in court and to be able to release music that we necessarily do not want to hear. Now, I'm trying to think, what song has he sung? by himself solo that's done well I'll give y'all a minute what'd they say I'm getting dizzy what'd they say what'd they say no it's not he's casted in a new baby shark movie he done went from Gwinnett High School to Gangsta Rapper to Baby Shark, da, 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 Baby Shark. Solo career. Let's go. Moving on. That's going to be interesting. I want to hear, is he going to mumble as the shark? Hmm? All right. All right. Now, this is interesting. Now, don't, listen, and y'all tried to drag me, okay? I was trying to tell you. I was trying to tell Yeah, I was trying to tell y'all. Listen, I knew, I knew that white girl wasn't lying on him, okay? She had stuck by, well, do we still have the before picture? Let's look, let's look at the before picture while I look for this text message. You hold on just a second here. Y'all ain't gonna come for me, okay? Where he at? There was no black woman checking for him. This, this is the real Jonathan Majors, Okay? This is the real one. This is the insecure one. This is the one that had to date white women because black women would look at him. Couldn't see past his nose. Okay? That tight ass jacket. Listen. Listen. Said he spoke too proper. Well, he done had some time to act. And he was able to develop a, a, a voice that even convinced us that he liked black women and chicken. But he loves chicken more and white women than he loves us. Look to your neighbor. (laughs) 
and said his boy loves chicken. He loves what women? And he don't love you. Okay? Now, let me tell you something. I can tell you he don't love you because, listen, he, he didn't risk his career on y'all. He risked his whole career on her. This one was worth the career. This one was worth the back up, bitch. Okay, that's exactly what. When she went for that phone, he said, hold up, bitch. Wait a minute. And, you know, she tried. And he had, a, I'm telling you, 6,000 calories of chicken. Okay, and this man working out two to three times a day. He ain't nothing enough. That's why he had to call up some extra to, to, to help out. Because he, he needs a bitch off her period all the time. You know what I'm saying? Listen, his lawyers, I don't know who his lawyers, his lawyers are my lawyers. <laughs> he got, he, he hired my lawyers. Let me tell you why. Hold on for a second. So apparently the text messages come out and these are supposed to prove that he didn't, he didn't do this to the police. And she didn't, you know, let me go. Jo Johnny, Johnny, let me go. Okay. So, uh, apparently the text message says from, from uh, Helen, I don't know her name, okay, uh, they're keeping her identity very private because they don't want black women uh, and black men from the manosphere coming to drag her and threaten her for someone who didn't even claim us, you know? Mm -hmm. yeah. Out here on his Jamie Foxx. Okay, so it says, there's no note, just look, just you knowing what happened. She says, please let me know you're okay when you get this. They assured me that you won't be charged. They said they had to arrest you as protocol when they saw the injuries on, my, on me and they knew we had a fight. <laughs> Some messages that uh, exonerate Jonathan, okay? Uh, I'm so angry that they did, and I'm sorry you're in this position. We'll make sure nothing happens about this. I told them it was my fault for trying to grab your phone. I only just got out of the hospital. Just call me when you're out. I love you. He, no response. <laughs> he in jail. That's why he can't respond. She comes back. They just called again to check on me, and I reiterated how this was not an attack. And they do not have my blessing on any charges being placed. I read the paper they gave me about the strangulation, and I said, point blank, this did not occur and should be a a removed immediately. The judge is definitely going to be told this. She, in she insured me, she insured this to me. I know you have been, have the best team and there's nothing to worry about. I just want you to know that I'm doing all I can on my end. I also said to tell the judge to know that the origin of the call was to do with me collapsing and passing out. <laughs> this is what the lawyer, this way, this is what our lawyers put out, okay? <laughs> um, with me collapsing and passing out and your worry as my partner due to our communication prior. Out of care, she promised all will be relayed, okay? So she just dry snitched in a text message and said that it's her fault because she shouldn't have grabbed his phone. And it was no strangulation, although she did collapse and pass out. And says, I love you, Johnny. So she said, I love you to this Johnny, not this Johnny. Y'all saying save this Johnny, and the army say he can't even be saved. Now, you know if the army drop you, because the army will let uh, soldiers be, like, uh, violated every which way. If they came back and said, no, Johnny, you cannot be all you can be, then there's a problem, okay? And so, yes, they officially charged him, even though he was the one that called the police on himself. Moving on. <laughs>
<laughs> All right, so we got a break. After the break, okay, we are addressing Rocky and Latasha, Ricky Smiley, and Latasha Scott. So much more. And then after we come back from the break and we address all this, then we're going to head to TashaKLive.com with our Sunday's best on, okay? And we will start our official sermon on gospel, the gospel of side holes and mistresses, okay? Uh, Ledge Mistress Part 3 uh, is coming up, all right? At 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on TashaKLive.com. So be subscribed and be ready to sip and drink, Okay. And serve the Lord, all right? Without further ado, we got some sponsors that we need to praise, which means boldly raise a glass to we'll be right back. Let's get it. Why knows, but for real, listen close and listen carefully. The olive leaf extract can reverse high blood pressure and diabetic high blood sugar, or the sugar, as some of our grandmamas may call it. It can also kill any nasty little bugs in your bodies like parasites, bacteria, fungi, tumors, and much, much more. And if that's not enough, you can also tell certain cancers like breast prostate, colon, liver, and skin cancer to take a seat because the olive leaf extract has been known to fight it. And their friend lupus can get it too, okay? So I need my winos to be in good health because we have some good dragging to do. So visit myoliveleaf.biz to help get your health in order. The reason I wanted you here was for awareness purposes because you were, you were fighting for your life. Like, what did I do with my life? I was literally, I swear to God in my head, I swear to God in my head, I said, it's not over. It can't be over. Like, this cannot be over for me. Like, I was literally thinking like my life cannot be over i haven't done nothing with my life like nothing significant with my life yet so mm -hmm. and like so just in a quick second like without warning i'm about to die like i'm literally thinking it but it's like i can't I'm, i can't say nothing so at the same time i'm trying not to panic because like i said my intestines is in my hand like my stomach is cut open my you know part of my stomach is in my hand so it's like i'm trying to calm my breathing down and just like thinking like okay i'm about to die I'm about to die. I'm about to die. It's okay. Like, be calm. Like, any second, I'll just be sleeping. All right, and we're back, okay? Okay, now, um, hope you got your wine. Mm, mm, mm. And we got a lot to unwind here before we head on over to TashaGayLive.com to hear from this alleged third mistress, okay? She came with a slew of receipts. I'm going to post them on the community board uh, in TashaKayLive.com, too, because I got to back up whatever they saying, all right? It don't take me one time, all right, to fall on my ass, all right? Now, listen, um, it's a hard $4 million ass. Okay. Latasha, first of all, first of all, see, I'm ready to fight. I'm ready to fight because somebody tried me for real. What I don't like, what I, do, <laughs> what I don't like is for somebody to be out here lying on me. There's enough lies out here about me, but you, sir, and I got receipts to back up everything, and you get your nervous ass on. How are we keeping something in the family when you are on a nationally syndicated radio show to address said rumors about the family? What did you think they wanted to talk to you about? God? Easter? The album they never asked her about? The gospel album? Never asked her about the songs? We haven't even heard an update from Billboard. Rocky, let me tell you what happened. Let me, let me, let me start from the beginning. First of all, do we have his video of uh, him and Tasha lying? Or just him lying? Okay, let's play this video real quick before we get into Tasha, okay? And it's open marriage, half open marriage. Um, let's roll the lies that he said. Now, Rocky, this story with this mistress woman, which really bothered me, my thing is this, how in the hell could she sit there and be very disrespectful to Latasha going out on sites Pause. talking about that she was with you for five years, you cried in front of her and stuff? Now, I'm going to come for Gary with the T2. Hold that thought. Keep going. You tongue kiss and all that stuff. That was very tacky, her. Can y'all not sue her or do something about it? Cause I, I huh. just sue who, Gary? Who who are they supposed to sue? You you sue for for hoes lying. This one ain't lying. Keep 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 going. I thought it was very disrespectful. We dealing with it mm -mm. from a legal standpoint. So mm -hmm. the less mm -hmm. I say, the better. You know. The okay, so, yeah, so y'all. It's federal. 
It's federal. It's not state. It's federal. A lot bigger than that. It's federal. Keep going. I'm suing her. I, I have, mm -hmm. yes, come on, man. Listen. You need to. Listen, I'm going to say mm -hmm. this. The other day I got a phone call because I want to address this. I got a phone call from Tasha K, mm -hmm. right? Didn't know mm -hmm. I was being um, recorded. Mm -hmm. Just talking. Oh. She trying to get an interview. And all, all of a sudden, the whole world is replaying something I said illegally, you know, because mm -hmm. I didn't know I was being recorded. And, and, and she called because of this female that is saying a bunch of stuff that I've been told to be quiet about until mm -hmm. it, you know, plays out in court. I hit Rocky in the deal. Before I hit you, knee. Let me tell, let me back up and tell you what happened. Time. Because the receipts, the receipts is receipting on this side. And I will put the receipts at TashaKLive.com on the community board. Because you, I date. First of all, I've been taking up for him and I ain't even know him. I said the girl would lie. Everything I said, she lied about. She came out and she confirmed. Then something just told me when my Monique and Derek, I'm heading down to Atlanta. Okay? Literally. On the airport to Atlanta, at the airport, taking pictures with Wango, okay? Yeah, okay? They ran here reporting the blog. She must got a lot of money, but they forgot to tell them I came in on Southwest and 42B, okay? Listen, so I ain't had no interviews because everybody got canceled. The same day, the same day I got the verdict in, the same day everybody canceled, I said, somebody doing witchcraft. Today, I got to go pray. So I grabbed my Bible. I did. I grabbed my Bible. I said, something's going on today. I said, so I'm in Atlanta, and I ain't got no work. So I prayed. I prayed to him. I did. You think I'm playing, don't you? I said, Lord, I done came to Atlanta on 42B. I already done spent this money. My ticket was non-refundable. I got to work, so I had to get creative. I said, you know what? Let me hit you. Let me hit uh, uh, Rocky. I said, Rocky, you want to do an interview and address the 30000 You know what he said? Let me read to you what he said before he went in there. Let me make sure he ain't, because he ain't stupid enough to delete, delete no messages. Let's see. Hold on. No, he did not change his, uh, his damn, <laughs> child. He done changed his, uh, his, his Instagram name to Jungle Man R. He done deleted Rocky Biv, and now it's called Jungle Man R. You right. You out here in the jungle for real. <laughs> nah, he in the DM right now. I, I'm screenshotting. Don't delete, brother. He, he watching the show. Don't delete. So I said, uh, I need to interview Rocky, right? That's what I, hold on. That's what I said. I said, I need to interview Rocky. He said, you know what? They have pissed me off enough to finally talk. That's what he said. I said, well, when can we set it up? I will be in ATL on Monday if you want to knock it out. We'll keep everything low key. He said, send your number so I can call you later. I sent, he, I sent my number. Now, he didn't call until after I hit Unique and posted the apology. I guess maybe he thought I was supposed to tell him that. No, 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 brother. I got the work to do on both sides. You said you was going to do the interview. Unique came out and did hers. So when I said, okay, she done shut me down, I put up the apology. Guess who blowed up my phone the next day? I, I'm, I'm literally, literally trying to get my shit together to, to go catch a flight. And he calling, 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 calling. I had to tell him. I said, Rocky, I said, I can't talk to you right now. I'm getting ready, getting ready to catch a flight. I cannot talk to you. So he was like, well, okay, well, hit me when you can because I'm on a promo tour. He was telling me he was on tour, not a promo tour, but a tour. So I'm thinking he riding around from city to city. He going around from uh, V103 to 97.5 and 96.6 on a big-ass bus around Atlanta. They just could have got in the Mercedes, okay, and drove down to them states. They didn't need no promo bus. Don't nobody do them rap buses no more like Kaya got, rap vans on donuts. Don't nobody do that no more. Waste the gas, emissions, price, emissions. So he calling, calling, calling. You know why he called? 
oh, you know what? Let's just do it now. Let's just knock it out. Now I'm gonna tell you everything you want, but I'm gonna tell you, but I want to, I want to do this, and then I want us to sit down in person. So I'm like, all right, let's just go on and do it now. So we did it. We did it. What you heard was what he did. Now you want to say, because you thought, I, I don't know what you thought. I, I don't know. It's like, I think sometimes maybe he thought that I wasn't going to go forward with unique story is what I think he thought because he was able to somehow convince me that he had bigger stories for me to report on. And his story was nothing, 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 nothing. Well, come to find out it was a whole lot of something. It was a whole lot of something. He said his friends told him, don't call me. He called me. Didn't he say that? So how is it that I called you? I called you back after you called me six times. Text it too. You really, you was itching to talk. You itching because you wanted the mistress off my page. You thought you was going to, but I can't be butted up, sir. Okay. Unless you're paying my bills. You understand? Now, had he would have came through on that $4 million bill, none of this would have happened. Let's just keep it a buck. I would have left Shaq. Listen. Shaq would have said, go. That man got $4 million. Go. <laughs> now. <laughs> now. So don't you, don't you, don't you dare lie like that. And Gary, you are a wino. Gary with the T on the Ricky Smiley Morning Show. You are a wino so heavy. You pay for the subscription, sir. You, you saw the receipts that that woman put out. How is it that you're going to say that they should sue her because she's interrupted a gospel album? The only person that interrupted the gospel album was her and him and they spirits. Yeah. Now, let's hit this second part, okay? Since you out here lying on my name, and I'm going to put them receipts in TashaKLive.com. I dare, I dare, it's federal. You know what my answer going to be? It's federal. It's federal. It's federal. I couldn't even get on the phone fast enough for him. Just say, I, I, every time I check my DM, there's another one. Didn't I just read messages from another one? I just read messages from another chick. Another one. I still got a couple more I got to interview. Okay? We ain't even done yet. This is the gospel of Rocky. Listen. Who's next? Natasha. Tasha, Natasha. See this, Tasha. What's her sign? What's her zodiac sign? What is it? Sagittarius, Libra. What it? It's got to be a Libra. Libras, Libras stay. Libras like they don't mind getting cheated on. Libras will lie for they. They'll be the first person on the internet. He didn't do it. He, he ain't crazy. He he ain't crazy. She a Libra. Libra stay through thick and thin, okay? They forgive the unforgivable, okay? Libras don't care. Libras, listen, long as we here and they know that, as long as you keep telling me, what, it's like Libras, all you got to do is tell them what they want to hear. You ain't got to necessarily follow by action, but as long as your words and they believe your words, they're excellent for men that have been in prison. Listen to me. Is, is Monique a Libra? Look, I'm telling you, I know shade the Libras, but we, we, look, we, there's a couple, there's a couple out here on the, in the celebrity world. Don't make me get to talking, okay? Let, 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 let's unwind this, this little bit of bullshit here before we go on over there and unwind Mistress 3 to this half open relationship, okay? Go ahead. Everything go ahead. to me and our son. And do we have problems? Are we... Perfect? No, we're not. Is he perfect? No, he's not. Am I perfect? I'm not perfect. I'm very aware. I'm very much aware of the allegations that are happening about him. I see everything. As a wife, you know, you see everything. But with our relationship, you know, some people keep the fact that they have an open relationship quiet. They want to keep it private. But we have that. And for us to be judged or whatever... By the things that people are saying, y'all keep judging, y'all keep living, y'all got marriages. Everybody ain't gonna always be true. Things happen. At the end of the day, do I stand beside my husband? I know, y'all think I don't know. I know everything. Everything. I'm not oblivious to things. 
my husband and I, what y'all don't understand, we do have an open relationship. We have spoken about things. That's my, that is my private business. Well, yes, it, it is your private business. You are right. But apparently he's not getting that. So here's what I'm going to say. Could they have an open marriage? Yes. I just ain't had no side niggas hit me about Tasha. Anybody out here bragging about bagging you and you escape. You the lead never. You are the lead runner in escape. You are the lead runner. <laughs> running. You running so far you can't even see behind you. You can't even see what he doing behind you. Now, yes, true. You you could have an open relationship. I love how they came out and said that today. But he was, if it was open, if it was open, he wouldn't have wanted the video down. He wouldn't have been trying to convince me to not go forward with it. You understand what I'm saying? He wouldn't have been trying to do that. Let me tell you what's going on with Tasha. So Tasha had a sit down from her record label, Motown. Okay, I think Capital, if I'm not mistaken, Motown and Capital. This type of publicity, no one, you, you would expect a gospel album as good as hers because it really is. I mean, the songs are nice, right? But with this type of publicity, they can't get her on tour. You, she's supposed to be opening up at church to church or rally or, or, or buying tickets. And yet, you around here asking God, to stay with you, but, man, listen, I, I even hate God. I even hate involving God. And let me get my Bible for a second. Hold on for a second. I don't think she was asking God to stay with her. I think she was asking Rocky to stay. Here's why. What you're going to hear tonight on TashaKLive.com is where all of Rocky's hoes and mistresses stay, around the corner from her. Now, here's my thing. Could this be an open relationship? Yeah, but why, why, why wasn't none of this addressed before you did your promo? You're supposed to get in front of stuff like this. I'm starting to think that he's your PR. That's what I'm starting to think. I'm starting to think that Rocky is the one telling you what to say and how to say it because he's worked with everybody, Michael Jackson, R. Kelly, he's been through these types of, of PR shenanigans before, so this is nothing. But see, he did them in a time where journalists had a bit more cool. I'm unhinged. I don't have any corporate backing. Do you understand? The only person I got on my back is God. I told you, it's me, it's God. Meet in Jesus. Jesus said, turn the other cheek. I said, slap the motherfucker. Okay? Now, what you're going to hear on this interview coming up on TashaKLive.com is something very interesting. Candy, I'm going to leave with this. I'm going to leave with this. Candy uh, uh, introduced Rocky to, to Tasha. Now, a lot of y'all would say, well, wh why would she, wh why would, why would the mistress claim that, you know, Rocky and, and, and Candy dated, and that's the reason why Candy and Tasha have this long-standing beef, okay? And I, I believe, listen, let me tell you something, when seeds are planted, when you're constantly measuring up and you're seeing somebody who you feel is not as good as you are, that doesn't sing as good as you are, that doesn't look as good as you think you maybe look, okay, and they've got everything, they've even had your husband, okay, and could have probably still had your husband, had the tables have been turned. Let me tell you something, whenever a friend introduces you to somebody, now grown women know this. I'm talking to the grown women here for a second. Put up the comments. I want to see what their comments is going to be. I'm talking to the grown women about this real quick, okay? When a woman introduces you to a man, she's introducing you to that man because that's somebody that she's considered fucking. Circumstances have prohibited her from fucking him. So you are the closest thing to her 
Okay, grown women, listen to me. You are the closest thing to her. So why not fuck her friend, someone that she approves of? It's kind of like being in control of the relationship. You understand? Listen to me. So the fact that Candy, and I don't know for a fact that Candy and Rocky dated, but I don't see why this mistress would lie, okay? Just like Rocky told her the same story he done told every hoe, okay? Whenever you have, what's this? Okay. Whenever a friend introduces you to a man, Trust me, your friend has either fucked that man or she wanted to fuck him, and so she's just passing him on to you because the universe said it's not right now. And y'all talking about nah, 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 nah. Because why else would you introduce your friend to somebody that you don't consider cute, that you don't consider fuckable? You have to find them attractive. There's something about them that you like. And so guess what you do? You go over there and tell your friend, yeah, he this, he that, he cool, girl. He got a nice job. He got everything. Everything but you, what you can fuck on right now because your circumstances have not permitted you to do that. So you just going to pass him along for right now. See, I'm real grown. I'm real grown. So the fact that Tasha, uh, she probably does feel some type of way that this woman probably allegedly fucked on her husband, took her career. She was supposed to be number one. She out here thriving. She out here living with her mama with this nigga that 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 that, that uh, Canada introduced her to. Y'all ain't y'all ain't uh uh-uh. uh y'all are not listening. Y'all are not listening, okay? Uh Uh-uh, y'all are not listening. There's a lot of underlying jealousy that goes on. There's a lot of underlying just long-term hate. If this was the case. But what we can prove is that Candy did introduce Rocky to Tasha, which means she saw something in Rocky that she liked and she wanted to share it with her group member. And keep it close. Now, before we head over to TashaKLive.com, thank y'all so much for watching over here. This is a good, 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 good Friday. And to Rick is smiling out here saying he holds his line, okay? Just like he been saying all these men been lying on him all these years. But that's another here or there, okay? That is another here or there, Ricky. We're not going to go there today, Ricky. We're not... I still ain't seen him bring that woman to the station to say this to my lady. Don't do it, Ricky. Not Ricky. Don't do that. Okay? Don't, don't, don't make next week fucking refractory, Ricky Smiley. You, you come on now. Don't don't do me like that. Right here talking about these mistresses be lying. Yeah, that sound personal. Because you know how these men in Atlanta been, been, been lying on you. And what your festivities are. They, they just lie. Especially in Atlanta, they just lie. <laughs> Ricky, that sounded personal. You, 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 listen, listen. It, I, I made a mistake in 2019. We in 2020, 20, 20, 21, 22, 23. That's four years later. I have learned one year every million dollars. Let me tell you something. <laughs> four years. Four years. One million for each for each year. Okay? I've been fine for. You understand? Um, sir, sir, we all know in Atlanta they don't lie. The only thing they lie about is what they do for a living and how much they make in Atlanta, okay? And without that being said, now I gotta go. Y'all head over to TashaKLive.com right now to get mistress number three. All right? Cause we got to get this here wine. Stay tuned to Gospel of Side Holes and Thieves 